So if you've got a GoPro mount and a Fox helmet, then this will be about a $10 job for you for the best possible GoPro footage. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today we're gonna to be talking GoPro mounts and the dirt bike helmet. All right, so we're gonna let her warm up for a second and uh, go ahead and ride a little bit. So I think this GoPro angle right here is gonna pretty much solve all of the issues I had. Guys, so I don't know how well this is recording or not. We'll uh, get back to the house and take a look at it. Feels like it's pretty good. I feel like the camera angle is just up enough so that it can kind of counter the, the face of the helmet being down just a little bit. We'll take a look at the footage here when we get back and uh, see how it comes out. This may be the new perfect way to record the GoPro video, but we'll check it out here in a second. So there's a lot of different ways you can mount a GoPro to a helmet. I'm just gonna show you the way that I have decided to mount mine. All right guys, so today we're talking GoPro mounts and the ultimate setup. So since I got the TTRs in July, I've basically just been wearing this skull cap here. It's a Fox Racing BMX helmet. And I wasn't really sure how much riding I was gonna be doing. This was working for a while, but the problem is this mount here does not give you the best angle. We've also tried it on my son's helmet too. Really, regardless of how you know how you get the angle of the GoPro with the mount on top like that it really doesn't give you like a really good sense of riding I basically found the solution in a chin mount this is my new Fox Racing V1 uh, full face helmet a must-have honestly if we're gonna be riding as much as I have been even more so I wanted to get a good mount for the GoPro so you can do this mount right here on any Fox racing helmet I think Fox really works the best for this kind of setup if you have another brand helmet it may not have this concave inlay on the mouthpiece like the Fox helmets do. So I don't know how well this would work, but for the Fox helmets, this is really the ultimate setup. What you can have is basically the regular GoPro mount. And the way that these are shaped, the mount will literally fit directly into the mouthpiece. Already in there pretty solid, and it's not really gonna come out that easy. So what I've actually done on my helmet is I basically installed the mount the same exact way, pushed it in as far as I can up against the, the mesh back there, and that mesh is metal, and then there's like a plastic backing back behind the mesh. So what you can do is you can put painter's tape back behind the mesh, that way nothing will leak through, but then once you have the GoPro mount seated, then you can go ahead and just use JB Weld Plastic Bond. And I do have the link in the description down below and it hardens like a rock. I can move this mount around and you'll get more flex in the helmet than you will from the mount. So there's no question whatsoever that this is gonna be sturdy. So if you've got a GoPro mount, and a Fox helmet, then this will be about a $10 job for you for the best possible GoPro footage you can ask for. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for this one. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be doing some riding this weekend out of the pit bike track. It's been about two weeks since we've actually gotten to go out there and ride. If you like this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you in the next one.